Hey guys, uh, Ryan Middleton here with Endorphin Fitness along with uh, Coach Aaron. And we're coming to you today from our uh, performance testing lab where a lot of fun stuff takes place. So we typically do our uh, run technique analysis in here where we do video testing and uh, you know, or, or, or videos of your form and then kind of slow that down and let that kind of lead throughout the session. Um, this is also a place where we do VO2 testing, uh, VO2 uh, testing for the run as well as for the bike. And that's where we can really dial in your training zones. So today specifically, we are gonna break down the gait analysis a little bit further. So typically when we come in, we don't really come in with um, you know, a recipe for exactly what we're gonna do. Typically I just have the person run and then I kind of let that lead me uh, throughout the rest of the session. The session. Is, is, is there an issue with form? Is there an imbalance with uh, you know, right side versus left side? What particular things do we need to address so that when that person leaves, they have all the tools that they need to put those things into, pr into practice and develop the right habits with, you know, and developing proper run form. So the first thing I look for uh, when I have the person run is arm motion. What is the person doing? So I'm gonna have Aaron demonstrate bad movement of arms and, to, and how I would normally correct those. So they're kind of flailing all over the place, or, you know, as you see, and lots of times you'll see people kind of cross the torso, twist back and forth, and that's just a lot of wasted motion and something that we, we really wanna try to mitigate and, uh, and see if we can't get the person more relaxed up top, kind of drop the shoulders back a little bit, and then, you know, typically the way we teach is we want, we want the person to almost hold a potato chip and be able to, you know, we don't wanna clench our fist or anything like that, and then we move our arms straight back and forth. If you're struggling with that motion or you need a mental cue, lots of times I tell people take that thumb and just brush the elastic on the shorts and that helps keep the arms moving the way that we should. Um, so that in, in turn is an easy fix, something that you can be conscious of and, and usually it's a habit that you can break pretty quickly. And then from there, you know, I kind of go, all right, waist down, like wh what are we doing with our legs? How's everything look? And then, um, you know, and then, and then we kind of uh, develop some drills based on what I'm seeing and how we can correct that. There are typically three parts to the run, uh, the run uh, motion that I typically look for. One is knee drive. So we'll go ahead and lift your knees. So we want a good solid knee drive, okay? Next is foot plant. And, uh, and then she has her follow through or her recovery where she pushes off, okay? And we have that nice 90 degree angle um, when, and we're getting a good full um, stride here. So she's back from her recovery and in, straight into her knee drive, nice and strong. That glute is really activated on this side. Then she's back into her foot plant again. And you'll notice, and Aaron, I'm gonna use your leg here for a second. You'll notice in that foot plant, that, you know, why it's so important, she's midfoot, okay? She's striking right under her hips. So that foot is already in place to propel her forward and then she goes back into her recovery, okay? Now, if she were to be heel striking, go ahead and make an ugly heel strike here, okay? She's gotta work to get back up on that midfoot before she can even push off and continue her stride. So you consider that over thousands of steps, that is a lot of wasted energy, and as well as, you know, it increases the risk for injury as well. So, and we're doing kind of a nasty heel strike, you know, all of that impact and force is gonna shoot up the leg and we could really end up with some ankle, some knee, some hip issues and, and so forth. So that's typically what we're trying to avoid. All right, so let's say we've worked our way through our session, we've developed the posture, we've worked on the, you know, the, the three parts to the, the, the healthy and, and solid stride that we're looking for. Next, I usually look for is what are we doing with our cadence? And we've already done a video on this before. So typically what I'll do is I'll have the person use my watch or their watch or set up a, me a metronome on it and we'll go outside and we'll take our new form, put that into practice, and try to get that cadence up as close to 180 as possible. So then kind of we get that full picture of what we're looking for. Um, and then we, you know, when the person leaves, I usually, you know, have a, a very detailed report on what we covered, the goals and what we're shooting for, and they might have them come in here, you know, maybe a few weeks, you know, maybe even a month later, see how we're progressing, and then kind of go from there.